Let's begin with the debacle of Nigeria's Israel Super Cup, Abakari, with security agencies in Nigeria and the United States. It appears he has gotten a temporary relief regarding one of his cases. A federal high court sitting in Abuja has dismissed the extradition suits filed by the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abaka Malami, seeking to surrender Kiari to the United States of America to face fraud charges. The judge, Justice Inyang Ekwa, said Malami is responsible for the failure of the case by instituting the extradition proceedings despite pending criminal case against Kiari. Now, in Nigeria, today, when they started this case, and lawyers told us that it's like a standard practice that you can't be, uh, you can't be seeking to extradite somebody while the person is having Still a local trial. case. Yeah. That's the case, the local case must have been dispensed of, or you suspend it while you face the extradition squarely. Now it's as if there's like a calculated attempt to bungle up this case. I don't think the Attorney General will say he's a senior advocate of Nigeria and we have this battery of lawyers and um, advisors that will tell him that, look, you can't do this while you're seeking to get this. And that, that is the, the plank upon, upon which the, the Justice, Justice uh, Inyang Ekwo uh, dismissed the case. The judge said the AGF, being the chief law officer, should be aware that extradition act prevents the surrender of a defendant who is currently being tried by a local court. Mm. The AGF could not say he was not aware mm. of the pending proceedings against the defendant, which was entered against him by the NDLA. You know, uh, he was referring to the, um, the matter of uh, Kiari's trial um, over 25 kilogram um, cocaine. Mm -hmm. uh, 25 kilograms of cocaine, which uh, he negotiated along with uh, some of the people yeah. close to him. I think there was a sting operation. He was not aware that it was a sting operation mm -hmm. and he was recorded negotiating, you know, for the release of um, the the substance, the illicit drug to him. So the law is clear. Once there is a pending case, mm. you cannot file um, for extradition. For extradition. That matter has to be dispensed with by way of the conviction of the fellow or the dismissal of the case. Of the case. Mm. So if it's dispensed with, then you can now um, file that action. But the Attorney General has to realize, you ought to realize, it's, a, it's elementary law that once there's a pending case against the defendant, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't extradite him. The judge will simply dismiss the matter so that he can go and face mm. that local case. Some people are. I knew all along that, that the, deliberate. Uh, no, I, I, I don't think so. You know, people sometimes make uh, these claims because they don't understand how the judge is thinking or the attorney general is thinking the attorney general because the, the the americans did everything that they had to do they presented the matter before the nigerian authorities there was an indictment after the the indictment the fbi proceeded proceeded to investigate his indictment and then hush puppy himself made confessions. That's why they are calling himself confessed uh, uh, froster now. Made confessions and they were able to establish a case against okay. Abakari. Maybe the Attorney General was just thinking of a way to say, okay, you want to um, have this man extradited, but we have a process. Let the matter go through that process mm. so that 
you won't blame me. Is the, is the court that you, you will see clearly that is the court that refused to allow his extradition. Mm -hmm. Maybe that was what he was thinking. Don't forget that the matter of um, his extradition came even before his arrest by the... Yes, NGA. Yes. NGA. The issue NGA. of his extradition yes. had come mm -hmm. up earlier. Yes. So maybe mm -hmm. he just wanted uh, the, the courts to dispense with the case so that they will now face this one fully. I did guess that's what, that this one, you, uh, no one can say this is an attempt to bungle. Our yes. law is clear. From what we've seen before, we know that um, anything that has to do with extradition is not something that is very straightforward. No, no, we witnessed so the one of Senator Buruji, late Buruji Kachamu, mm. you know, went on and on and on, you know, some procedures like that. Well, till uh, Buruji departed this earth, uh, we are still trying to extradict him. In fact, the former head of state took it as a, as a holy grail to make sure that the man was extradicted. You are correct. But I disagree with Jide that this is just bungling. Yeah, because you can't even tell somebody who's a novice that an SAM, a minister of justice, over a thousand lawyers, most of those advocates, who don't know the basic tense of the extradition law. It's not possible. Uh, they are like the Americans will say, you can pee on my head, but don't call it rain. Mm. And that's what the Americans will look away and look at this case. Because so obvious black and white that somebody somewhere don't go this case. It may not be the Malawi as a person. It just be somebody in the Ministry of Justice. But this was, was one good basically by the Nigerian government as the prosecutors. Because as far back as March on this program, remember, it was, this was said that once they start the NDLA trial, no judge on earth will allow them to take Yari out of this choice. And we are not lawyers. And we know, eight months ago. So they have options to do this two ways. One, we draw the extradition order. Until, until the matter, local matter was, was rested. Then start afresh. Or rush it like this. And then leave yourself open to accusation of favoritism or, or bungling, as they call it. So to me, that's the danger because it's, me, about, it's it, about perception. Me, I don't understand the use of the word bungling. Honestly, I don't that's understand. That's what people are using, I said. And because people use words loosely. What is bungling? The, the, he allowed the uh, traditional trial to go on. The court then decided that, okay, this matter, we are not going to extradite him to the U.S. because of a pending trial. That is what our law says. If this was done, if the trial, if the prosecution bungled the extradition, you understand, before, without this um, other matter in place, that is when we can be talking about bungling. Bungling what? That, the, there's nothing like bungling. In any case, you can't extradite him with that, uh, with no, that, with that case there. The, so it's not, bungling they, is not the word. They, the, hmm? the long and short story of this story is that hmm. some people have been saying it that, look, that they are going to do everything possible to make sure that he does not have his day in court in the U.S. Whatever wants to happen to him, is better to happen to him here. Yes, people Conspiracy said that. Theory. Okay, yeah. people said that. Hmm. But we are journalists. Hmm. That case is stronger than... For us, that case that is facing is mm. a bigger case than, than even the one in the U.S. Mm. Okay. Because here is the most decorated Nigerian policeman of all time mm. being involved in drug, mm. uh, is, illicit yes. drug business. Mm. Many of us will want to see that particular matter to its logical conclusion. Let us see where it ends. For me, that's mm. even better than going over there. If you now the way it's done in other places, you can actually finish your jail term here, and the question. Americans will still call for you. <laughs> or even they, if they lie, they can even arrest you. It happened to even a sitting president. Immediately he finished serving his jail term in the U.S. That's Noriega. Noriega. The French were waiting so that he can go and continue and start his trial in their own country. For another so crime. what the point I'm making is. This is just academic exercise. You know that that court will not extradite him. But to fulfill all righteousness, the Americans see that you try to bring someone before a court of law, 
on the matter, on the application that they, they presented to you, you allowed it to go on, and the law of our land prevailed. So I'm not saying that as bungling. Those who made up their minds that they, they, this guy will never be extradited, they never envisaged that the NDLA matter will come up. Don't forget that the NDLA had to even release that video when it was clear that some people were reluctant to release Abakari to them. Hmm. Remember since when they said they had even informed the... the so, yes. So, the, the NDLA has his case. They've already convicted two of his accomplices. So, me, I don't see bungling anywhere. There's no... If, it is that other one that we can now focus on. Let us see whether that one can be bungled. But in this case, mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. bungling is not the word. Okay. So by implication now, Abakiari stays in Nigeria yes. to answer, oh. you know, to oh, face the, the law. The allegations, yeah. All right.